Welcome back, Sethling here. It's the big one. One million subscribers! Woohoo! Uh, I'm really thankful to you guys for subscribing, and so for the occasion, since this is really the big milestone, I built something really special. So what we're looking at here is my new map. It's called Blocks vs. Zombies. So it's kind of a tower defense game in the style of Plants vs. Zombies, although it's pretty different. Now behind me, ooh, who are these gentlemen? Uh, I've got some friends to help me demonstrate the game. We got Sacha Varel from the Minecraft forum. Hello. Hi. Etho, the YouTuber. Hello. Hey, Seth. And Mark from Mojang. Why don't you do a little spin? Show us that cape. Hello. Yep, there's the Mojang cape. Um, so kind of the three different parts of the community that uh, that, that have really you know, helped the community out. Now uh, we're going to demonstrate the game. So if you guys want to step forward, we'll go ahead and start the game. Uh, we're not going to play a full game. We're just going to we're just going to demonstrate the game, and I'm going to cheat a bit to show you all the mechanics of the game. Uh, there, the game does come with an instruction manual, and you'll, you'll spawn with the instruction manual, blocks versus zombies. But uh, I'm not going to use that because I'm just going to show you the game uh, manually. So, start the game. Zombies start coming from the cave, and they start out coming pretty slow. Now you you have a bow, and you can feel free to shoot them. So uh, get kill those zombies. And you'll start to notice uh, on the right side, we're going to get points. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, the game is designed, we have four players playing right now. Uh, the game actually will hold any number of players from one to infinity. Uh, I'd recommend about two to five. I think four is a good place to start if you're just playing it the first time. Two is possible. It is possible to beat it with two players, but it's, it's a very difficult challenge. So uh, maybe after you've beat it a couple times with four and three players. Uh, then I would recommend that. Now, you can see it says 19 minutes remaining. The game lasts 20 minutes. If you survive all 20 minutes, then you win the game. Uh, you lose if a zombie falls into the lava here in the trough. And uh, so the zombies will walk into the trough, but they'll never walk into the lava on their own. They have to get pushed in by another zombie. So that kind of works as a buffer so that if one zombie falls in, you can kill it before another zombie is able to push it in. So, um, so that's how you lose and win. Now, now those points. Um, as, every time you get a kill, somebody on your team will get a point. Uh, it's not always the person who gets the last shot on the mob. Also, if you get kill streaks, you can see we're we're starting to rack up a nice kill streak here. Uh, you get gold, and so points and gold are the two currencies in the game. Uh, let me talk about points first, and we'll get to gold in a minute. Uh, actually, in order to talk about points, I'm going to give myself a bunch of points. Let's give myself 100 points. <laughs> Cheating here to demonstrate the game. There are three ways to spend the points. Now, if you look on the on the battlefield here, there are these colored regions. Now, these are places that you can purchase barriers. You'll notice there's a little zombie baby coming along here. There are one-shot kills, but they're super fast. Okay, so there's these spots where you can get barriers. And you go over here to purchase the barriers. The barriers cost 10 points. Uh, so I can purchase the cyan barrier by pressing this button, and we'll get a cyan barrier right there. Looks kind of cool. I can get a couple more, and it'll say that I purchased it. Now they're sharing gold in order to purchase stuff from the shop. I'll, again, I'll get to that in a minute, but uh, that's crucial. Ooh, baby. <laughs> All right, so that's one way you can spend points. It's ten points for barrier. It's also ten points per firing tower. Now you can see the dispensers on the sides. They'll shoot arrows if you purchase them. To purchase them, you stand on these pressure plates here, uh, right here, and you fire at the wooden buttons. So if I fire over here, uh, I can purchase this tower, and it cost me 10 points to do that. Uh, you guys might want to let one of the zombies through on the left side so you can so we can see the, the effect of this tower. I'm just going to shoot the zombies, but the cool thing is it's going to... Uh, oh yeah, there we go, this zombie here. It's going to kind of push the zombie back as he as he tries to approach from that side. So it, it kind of uh, hinders his progress toward, coming towards us. Now, so you can you can purchase more of these towers. Looks like somebody else, Etho, purchased a couple towers over here on the side. Uh, those are going to be really helpful. We're starting to get some knights, which are some more uh, difficult enemies. They're wearing the chain mail and they're holding the sword. OK, the last thing you can spend points on, and I've got 63 points right now, is these is these cannons. So like. Uh, you can press this. It costs 30 points per cannon, so I'm going to purchase the green cannon. And we can see the green cannon fires a little shell. Uh, it didn't hit any zombies, but if it did, it would have killed all of them. Maybe I'll purchase the blue cannon while there's a bunch of guys over there. 
Okay, purchase the blue cannon. You can see, bam, killed the knight, one shot. Uh, once you purchase a cannon, it's free to fire it again, but you just have to push the button. Wait till the light comes back on, and you can fire it again. So, it's free after you purchase it. And it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so those are the ways to spend your points. Uh, now, there's also gold. You can see I have 17 gold in my inventory that comes from the kill streaks. You get the kill streaks by, um, by getting kills rapidly as a team. So, if you get kill, 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 just all in a row. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll start to rack up gold. Now, uh, I have 20 gold in my inventory, which is just enough to buy a grizzly bow from the shop. Uh, you buy, you spend your gold over here at Crazy Ed's Bric-a-Brac. And if I put in 20 gold here, I can grab a grizzly bow, which has power 2. And so that's a nice bow. Alright, I just want to come here and make sure we're doing okay. We're not going to lose while I'm <laughs> demonstrating the game. Um, so, okay. Uh, so let me show you some of the other things you can purchase at the shop. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of gold from my inventory here, from the creative inventory, uh, and, and and cheat a little bit so I can show you all the all the kind of stuff. So there's a lot of a lot of bow upgrades. You can get like a punch bow. Here's power bow. Here's a flame bow. The rocket launcher has a, has some nice stuff, but it only has durability of 99. Um, I'm going to grab uh, this scroll of summoning. It summons an iron golem, and Oh, I actually need more gold. Uh, I'm also going to grab an Oblivion Rod over here. Uh, where, there we are. Oblivion Rod. Here we go. Brings about the zombie apocalypse. I'm going to show you these two items. They're some of my favorites. Alright, so the Scroll of Summoning. Actually, let's use the Oblivion Rod first, or Apocalypse Rod. That's what it's called. Okay, first I'm going to use this. Uh, I have to go back into survival mode, or adventure mode. Uh, there's an invisible zombie. I want you to notice that. it's uh, You can just see its boots. There's another one. Alright, here's the Apocalypse Rod. Bam. Zombie Apocalypse. Alright, so that's that's a really cool effect. Very useful uh, if you're getting overwhelmed, and especially towards the end of the game. And it can give your teammates a, a chance to head back and purchase stuff from the shop, too. It gives you a nice, nice rest. Now, uh, the Scroll of Summoning will actually summon an Iron Golem. So I'm going to right-click on this. I really love the play sound command and the sound effects. Okay, we're starting to see the final type of zombie. It's the tank. It's a diamond zombie over there. I'm going to fly over to that, to that... Oh, whoops. I'm going to fly over here. Cheating, cheating, cheating. <laughs> so this, this, uh, this tank actually has knockback resistance. You shoot him with the bow, he's not going to get knocked back. And so it's a really slow type of zombie, but if you don't deal with it, it'll just come at you and 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 if you if you wait too long to deal with it, it can really just screw you over. So that's the last type of zombie. It's the zombie tank and viz zombie. There was a zombie knight wearing the chainmail, basic zombie, and then zombaby. <laughs> so those are the five types of zombies you'll get. We've seen them all now. As the game goes on, we'll just get more of them at a time, and it's going to start to get pretty spammy. Um, so that's that's it for things you can purchase. Um, talked about kill streaks. Uh, I mean that's that's basically the game. It lasts 20 minutes. And it just gets harder and harder as you go. So uh, I encourage you to try it out. Yeah, like I said, with four people at first. If you can beat it with two people, you're a pro. <laughs> if you can beat if you can beat it with one person, you're probably cheating though. <laughs> I, I I don't think it's possible to beat it with one person. There just get to be too many zombies. You can't take breaks. Um, so you can see we've got most of the barriers purchased here. The arrows here start to stack up, and those can actually cause a little bit of lag, so uh, you kind of need a little bit of power on your server and on, on the computers that are playing, but it's it's not too bad. Even even for lower-end computers, it's not terrible. Uh, so that's the game. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stop the game here, or maybe we should actually let the zombies get to us. Uh, I know you guys have been working hard to make sure we don't lose, but... Um, I just want to show everyone what it, what it looks like when we do lose. So there's we gotta we, stop. <laughs> Etho's trying to do it all on his own. So we can see maybe these guys. Yeah, there we go. One of those one of the zombies pushed the other in, and we lose. It's gonna clear inventory, and you can check the chat log to see how far you got. So we had 12 minutes remaining. Pretty good, almost halfway there. And of course we could have gone a bit farther. We had plenty of supplies and stuff. Although I did cheat a little. Um, those cannons, by the way, really help when you start to get lots of tanks, the, the guys with the diamond gear. Just a little strategy tip. 
Another tip is uh, if you if you have a bunch of zombies coming, if you sink two shots into into each of them and then get the final kill on all of them at once, you can get kill streaks that way, even at the beginning of the game. Anyway, so you can figure out the rest of the strategy for yourself, and uh, and it, the game's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm really proud of it, and I just wanted to build something really special for the occasion. Uh, thank you to Mark and Etho and Sacha Varel for uh, you know coming and helping me demonstrate. And uh, and like I said before, I think you guys represent the the best of the Minecraft community, and and uh, I love you guys. <laughs> uh, you guys Thanks really for bring inviting us. Seth. I love yeah. you, man. <laughs> you guys That's really bring everyone real. together. So. Um, yeah, I want to thank Mojang, all the YouTubers that have, uh, you know, helped me out, done collaborations with me, kind of built up that Minecraft community, all the server admins and website admins like Minecraft Forum and everything. You guys, uh, you guys are awesome. You guys have helped to foster a, a great community. And so thanks. Of course, I want to thank all the viewers and subscribers, uh, for, you know, making, making what I do possible, giving me the time to do this uh, because I do this for my full-time job so I was able to spend a lot of time and perfect this and and really make it a fun game to play and uh, and everything so thank you so much everybody uh, if you'd like to download the game for yourself and try it there is a link in the video description just make sure you run this on a vanilla server not a bucket server uh, and make sure command blocks are enabled and you can try it out for yourself well, hopefully I can keep this doing this for millions and millions more subscribers to come, but either way, I'm really thankful. And so, thank you everyone. Thanks for watching.